Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tavern. But more importantly, welcome to the first episode of Tavern Talks. Just wanted to mention if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, before the end of this video, if you enjoyed it or got something out of it, make sure you click that like button and consider sharing with friends. So let's get on with it. So today, Calling All Devs came out with the Road to Salvage. And we heard from Todd Pappy on some of the mechanics that are being developed and how some of those systems and mechanics are going to work. So one of the first things that he talked about was hull scraping. So he only mentioned paint with this one, but I'm hoping there's a little bit more to it than that. Um, I can't picture the mechanic only being paint for hull scraping. It um, sounds a little basic. I'm hoping maybe he just misspoke because I can show you a uh, screenshot that I took. There is an image of a hammerhead that we took a little bit of damage on. And maybe I can zoom in on that part so that you can see. But there is uh, a good amount of damage on this hammerhead. I don't know how we got this much damage on it. But you can see how the skin has taken a lot of the damage. And also you can see some of the, uh, the inner framework. So... So maybe now you're getting an idea of what I was thinking and that the hull scraping might be more involved or could be more involved. Hopefully it will be more involved uh, than just paint scraping because I'm thinking maybe with what we'll talk about later with some of the tools that they mentioned developing like the uh, what we've heard before with the laser tools, maybe the laser cutting tools, that uh, this might be a way that you could remove pieces of the skin and make a mechanic out of salvaging the uh, the skin. But as you can see, I think this might be a little more along the lines of the idea that we were thinking of when it comes to hull scraping. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, but uh, yeah, I would like to see something a little bit more than just paint scraping. Maybe it's just me. So next we talked about the maw or the claw. Uh, that would be an extremely large claw on the front of the reclaimer that they were referring to. And then they mentioned detonators along with the, the maul to help blow off pieces that the maul could handle. Um, if you guys have any ideas and maybe what how that might work, also just let me know in the comments because I'm, I'm trying to picture how detonations might blow off pieces of the hull when the claw could just pull them off themselves. But or the, or the laser cutters. Moving on, we also heard about siphoning. Now this one actually sounded quite a bit exciting. Uh, I had never thought about that before and siphoning might actually end up being a pretty cool mechanic because uh, when it comes to siphoning, they talked about things like O2, H2O, uh, hydrogen fuel, quantum fuel, and this actually opens up a lot of different gameplay because you could take the quantum fuel say that you salvage from a starfare because that would be quite a bit of quantum fuel if you could salvage that not sure where you would store it in a reclaimer but maybe you would store it inside of another ship that went with you to salvage that possibly opens up a lot of different gameplay avenues Next we hear from John Crew, and he spoke about how the physicalized components need to be brought into game before we can move on with mechanics such as salvaging and repair. So my thoughts are, one thing to keep in mind, there's different sizes of components. There's small ones that can be handheld, there are medium sized components, and then large sized components or even capital sized components. But when it comes to salvaging, I think we can just agree that there are components that you can handle by hand and then there are components that you cannot so that got me thinking along the, the lines of how are we going to be handling these components well one the obvious one would be the small components you can carry out by hand maybe you could just pick up an EVA like you would say a delivery box on a delivery box mission and then take that back to the ship the next would be a medium component that might be too heavy so that got me thinking what about the multi-tool and if I remember correctly I believe they mentioned that the multi-tool was going to have an anti-gravity attachment for moving around objects heavier than what the person can pick up so this got me thinking along the lines of once you pick these objects up with an anti-gravity attachment 
how do you get these objects to a place that you can actually move them? In other words, so with the Vulture, the Vulture is a smaller ship that would be more than likely parked right next to what you're salvaging. So imagine that you pick up a component or some other heavy object with an anti-gravity multi-tool and you want to move it to that ship. It's not a far trip and it's pretty feasible that you could actually EVA with that object over to your ship and set it inside. Now, maybe you'll do the same thing with the Reclaimer, but as you can see from the image, the Reclaimer is a lot larger than a Vulture. Yeah, obvious, right? So that got me thinking as well. Are you gonna EVA with components and then EVA the full length of your Reclaimer to, the only entry point I can see is the lift in the back of the Reclaimer. I don't think you're going to be vacuuming up components, especially expensive components, not with the, the same vacuum that goes to the, I'm assuming the shredder. I don't think it would differentiate between those two. So that reminded me of something that I'd heard a while back and that the Reclaimer might be coming or supposed to be coming with its own Parasite ship. So that got me wondering if the Parasite ship would be the vehicle that you would transport the components back to the reclaimer on. Not too far of a stretch if you think about it. So the aspect of having a parasite vehicle with the reclaimer all of a sudden becomes a little more important. So of course with these objects or these components we're waiting on object container streaming for the chips. Uh, it's important because they mentioned that these components need to work and interface together with the ship also have the ability to be removed and affect the ship's functions. So then we move on to Dan Trufin, who spoke about the system that his team had been working on, uh, the pipe system. And that was the system that was allowing these components to quote unquote work together and, and talk to one another, therefore creating a system that controls your ship. Um, this system, he said, was outdated, so they were working on a new resource system and I believe the correct name that they used was the resource generation and item control system. Um, so this this system sounds like it's gonna play kind of twofold. One, into salvage, and two, into sort of the engineering repair aspect of it. And oddly enough, an org mate of mine, Porthos03, mentioned that he found engineering to be an intriguing mechanic in the game. And funny enough that this episode actually deals with how these systems are going to tie into engineering and there just seems to be like there's going to be a lot more to engineering than just possibly pointing your multi-tool at a component and shooting it with a magic ray because with this intricate system being that it one system feeds off another it sounds like they mentioned you could have catastrophic failures because if a cooling system fails, you might get damage to other components and so on and so forth. So it looks like with this new tech that the engineering side, the repair side, and the salvage side of things are going to be playing a lot into each other. Going back to what Todd Pappy said, he mentioned that CIG is working on every aspect of this tech. The word being every aspect at one time. So hopefully, before too long, we will see the first iteration of either salvage or repair coming from these component techs or these resource systems. So that sums up the calling all devs the road to salvage. However, what are your thoughts on the salvage or repair or even the engineering side of things? Personally, I still think I would like to do the salvage mechanic, although the engineering side of things is sounding pretty cool. Especially serving on a large ship and knowing that you are responsible for every single system on that ship. I can imagine how hectic it would be running around on some of these capital ships with components failing all over the place trying to keep the ship afloat. I for one am super excited about the salvage mechanic for this game. I really hope to see this pretty soon. However, I'm thinking it's probably going to be more towards the end of the year before you see the first iteration of this. If you guys have any other ideas or if you have a better hunch than I do. Let me know in the comments again, but still seeming like it's going to be a little bit before we see any type of real salvage gameplay. Well, that's really all I had today for the salvage topic. However, 
If you have any other topics that you want me to cover, just leave them in the comments. And also, look forward next week to talking about a few different ships that I would really like to cover in another Tavern Talk. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and consider sharing. And as always, thank you for making Tun's Tavern your stop on your way through the verse.